It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I want to talk about this album right here Yellow Wolf's debut album called Radioactive. I've already talked about Yellow Wolf before. Again, let me reiterate this because I know a lot of people that come on my channel think I have a bias against southern MCs and I know that some of y'all that is subscribed to me already know that I don't but I have to be a broken record because some people just don't get it, it just don't sink in. Yellow Wolf is a southern MC that I like. I like his style I think he stands out from a bunch of the Southern MCs that are out today. I think he's totally different. Um, I said that before when I reviewed uh, his um, Trunk Music Zero to Sixty EP or whatever it was. Um, I think Yellow Wolf's hot. Um, he got signed to Shady, that blew his buzz up even more. And um, he's been making noise, and I know a lot of y'all wanted me to uh, review this shit and uh, give my thoughts and opinions on it. So that's what I'm about to do. Sit tight. I'm going to talk about some of the uh, producers on this album. You have uh, Will Power, who produced a good number of tracks on this album. Uh, who else? Phonics Beats, The Audibles, and Mr. Pyro, Eminem, who uh, executively produced this album, by the way. Um, <clears throat> already mentioned Will Power, uh, already mentioned The Audibles, Emmanuel Kiriakou. Diplo and Borgor, Justice League, Jim Johnson, and yeah, that's it for producers. Now for features on the album, let me get to the back of the CD. You have Shorty Fat. You got my man Mystical, it's great to hear Mystical back and sound liver than ever. Um, you got my man Kid Rock, Lil John. you have Ritz or Ritz the Rapper, Gangsta Boo, Eminem, Pooh Bear, Priscilla Renee, Fifi Dobson, Mona Moua. I guess that's how you say her last name. And Killer Mike. So, if you got the regular version of the album, you got 15 tracks. And you got a hefty amount of um, features on those 15 tracks. I got the deluxe version, and it has three extra bonus tracks. So, I got 18 all together. So, packed with features. A lot of them do their thing, some of them, some people might find cheesy, but um, me personally, I liked how it came together, and I'm going to discuss a few tracks with some of you guys out there. The album starts off with a track called Radioactive Introduction, and um, I fucking love that track, very ominous, very dark. Um, <clears throat> doesn't set the tone for the entire album, but it lets you know that 
Yellow Wolf's a fucking problem. He's a rhyme animal. Um, again, if if you don't like him or haven't heard him, just listen to that radioactive introduction, and I guarantee you'll be you'll be sucked in. Um, I fucking love that track right there. Um, track two is Getaway, featuring Shorty Fat and Mystical. Um, Yellow Wolf again, he does his thing on here. Um, Shorty Fat, I'm not too familiar with, um, but the main reason I really love this track, not only because of Yellow Wolf doing his thing, but like I said, Mystical is one of my favorite Southern MCs, and um, he really came in on this one, so that's just an easy sell for me right there. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to move on to track three, Let's Roll, featuring Kid Rock, and um, the reason I like this track so much is um, because Yellow Wolf sort of reminds me of, of Kid Rock, especially, let me say early Kid Rock, when he used to rhyme and shit. And um, I always thought that these two would be a good pairing, um, especially when I heard um, the song um, Marijuana on the Trunk Music EP. And um, I said, yo, this is something that Kid Rock would have done um, back when he was, um, you know, back during the Polyfuse method and all that, that shit. Sounds like something that Kid Rock would have came out of out with, excuse me, and um, Kid Rock uh, really doesn't rhyme that much anymore, he just does the hook on here, and at first I didn't look at the back of the booklet, I thought it was Yellow Wolf singing, and I was like, yo, holy shit, yo, Yellow Wolf is sounding exactly like Kid Rock with that whole southern um, vocal tone, but then um, I, I uh, looked at the back of the CD and I saw it was Kid Rock, I'm like, holy shit, that's fucking crazy. So, um, Let's Roll featuring Kid Rock, um, dope track, dope hook, I like it. Next track I want to talk about, which a lot of you probably heard, is called uh, Hard White, Up in the Club featuring Little John. Now, um, <laughs> I know what some of y'all are thinking, um, with Little John on the track, I'm going to say that the track sucks. Um, Y'all already know I'm not a big Little John fan. I think he he is is a big fucking gimmick rapper, if you want to call him that. I don't consider him a, a fucking rapper at all. I think he's a fucking clown. But um, this beat it goes in. Um, it's not a typical bullshit club southern easy southern club beat I should say and um yeah it's, it's fucking ill you know give the track a listen I mean lyrically it's about being in the club you know Yellow Wolf needs that fucking selling point you know for all the, the fucking bullshit MTV crowd I get it but lyrically he's still killing it he's still flexing his style and um I like the track. I mean, um, it's not the best track on the album, but it's listenable. Um, let me move forward to a growing up in the gutter. Dope fucking track shows Yellow Wolf's uh, versatility when it comes to storytelling and slowing up his flow a little bit. Um, like verse one, he's talking about a, a little girl who gets abused. Uh, he's talking about um, just violence in, in hoods to suburbia. Um, dope fucking track. Y'all know I love shit with a message. So that's a dope fucking track. Um, next track, Throw It Up featuring Gangsta Boo and Eminem. Um, that's a weird combination there. Um, Gangsta Boo, I haven't heard her since I don't even remember when. But now she got some type of buzz because of the whole bullshit white girl mob shit. You know, she had something that she said about them. And um, 
she hooked up with Yellow Wolf and Eminem somehow I didn't see the video because she has a video talking about how she hooked up with them and made this track and um, this um, this seems like another one of those fucking like something that would be played for the mainstream and shit like that it has that feel to it this song is alright to me Gangsta Boo holds her own she goes double time a little bit um, Eminem comes in and uh, does his thing as well at the end um, so yeah it's, it's a decent track again not the best track on the album not my favorite track but listen to it judge for yourselves <laughs> 